Welcome back to the speed shop. Uh, my name is Sean, and I'm going to show you guys how to apply some graphite. Now, this is my my uh, my oldest son's uh, first one of his very first cars, and this is the only car that did not make take first place at districts. And we've been doing this four years. Um, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off my our my very own mix. Over the years, I've done this. Tried them all out, touched them all out. I called the number one graphite point zero one, which is the size of the flakes. I put a little pile right on top. Just a little pile right there. What I do is I tap, 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 spin, crunch, and you actually feel it like crunching inside there. Tap, 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 crunch, tap, tap, crunch. Cut span, you guys can tell what I'm doing here. That's why you can actually just hear the crunching of that sound in there. Blow up the extra. <laughs> we'll spin. Now you can do this just as a. Here's what I do. And get a couple more thousands for probably about two runs. I will actually put just a little pile, I'll hold it close to the body, put a couple dabs on there, just a little pile. I'll try to work it in there. Tap a little bit, work it in there. Work it in there. And there, and I might do that twice. One last spin, or one last blow. The we'll spin, and no, you do not spin it and spin, spin. That is a big no no. That is actually ready to race. But remember, um, check out my other video about prepping the wheel bores and the axles. And that'll actually get you to this point that that is all you have to do to do the race. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about the inside edge of, the, of, your, left, of your dominant wheel. <clears throat> if you're into rail riding, which hopefully you are to get, to get the maximum speed, the inside edge, you got to get some graphite on it. And this is how I do it. Take my number one graphite, make me a little pile. I got some there. Remember, I will actually just sit on a block if you can't find something, get something that's nice and smooth. What I do, I just rub it in there. Keep your pile nice and full. I'll probably do this. I'll probably get three or four good rotations out of the whole thing. You actually feel it crunching again. So you can actually see the inside of that edge. There you go. Now that's going to last for a good two, two and a half runs. Again, that'll do a couple more thousands on your run. So, hope that was helpful. Hope that uh, you get some more speed. Thanks from the Speed Shop.